And a year later, Israel and the Jewish community across the globe reflect on the horror and heartbreak from October 7th. 2023. Our News for Tucson's Megan Spector has reaction from a Tucsonan who now lives in Israel. A year ago, right after the attack on October 7th, I spoke with Allison Abraham. She lived in Tucson and moved to Israel in 2010. Now, a year later, we reconnected and she told me that since that day, her life hasn't been the same. Everything now is put in terms of like pre-October 7th and post-October 7th. It's become almost a different world in a way. Allison Abraham and her husband, Aviv Ben Israel, have spent the past 365 days trying to process the loss and heartache the attack on October 7th, 2023 caused for themselves, for Israel, and for the Jewish community around the world. I feel sad, I feel the pain, and this is just unbearable uh, at some points, and it will be with me for many, many years, I'm sure. A year on, it's kind of unthinkable that there's still over 100 people held hostage in Gaza. Um, that's, it's on our minds a lot. There's posters all over every city in Israel. There, We see their faces everywhere we go. The lingering toll of the attack by Hamas with an aftermath of more conflict, protests, and a rise in anti-Semitism across the globe. I thought this was behind us, basically. I thought uh, n never again is never again, but uh, I guess that we have to say that never again is now. We're both active on social media and we see all, so many comments and posts of, you know, that not even subtle anti-Semitism um, that's really blatant and scary and that it's become very normalized. Allison and Aviv acknowledging the new reality that October 7th created. We've had discussions while we're walking the dog of, okay, and at this point during our walk, if there's a siren, which building are we going to? Where's the safest point to reach? The news cycle in Israel is not the same news cycle that you have in uh, the U.S. or in Tucson. Every hour, something happens. And it's hard to think that, you know, it's, it's a year later and we're still here, that we're still talking about hostages, that we're still talking about guys having to return to the reserves to keep fighting. Like there aren't words to explain like the emotions that it takes us on. When Allison and I first spoke a year ago, she and her husband Aviv had just gotten back to Israel from their honeymoon. Then Aviv was sent into the IDF. He's home now, but he'll return to the reserves in early November. Reporting from downtown, Megan Spector, News 4, Tucson. All right, well, Democratic candidate for